In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for K2SO4 plus CaI2. This is potassium sulfate plus calcium iodide. First thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. So I have two potassium atoms here and just one here. I'm going to put a two here, two iodines. Now I have two iodines. That's good. I've got a sulfate here and a sulfate here and one calcium atom on each side. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now we need to write the state for each substance. If you know your solubility rules, compounds with potassium, they're soluble almost all the time. Usually compounds with iodine, they're soluble. So put a little AQ there. So sulfates are often soluble, but calcium sulfate, that's an exception. This is going to be a solid. It's going to be insoluble. A little bit of it will dissolve, but most of it's going to stay as a solid. So because of that, we put the S after it here. It's going to fall to the bottom of the test tube when these react. It'll be a precipitate. And then potassium compounds, very soluble. So put an AQ. So once we have the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. Potassium, that's in group one on the periodic table. So that'll be a plus one and the sulfate, the whole thing is two minus. Good one to remember. So we have two of these potassium atoms, two K plus, and I won't write aqueous right now. And then we have that sulfate ion, SO4, two minus. For the calcium iodide, calcium's in group two, and then iodine, that's in group seven or 17, it's a halogen. So we have these charges here. This will be the calcium ion, Ca2 plus. And then we have two of these iodide, ions, I minus. And these are the reactants in the net ionic equation. In net ionic equations, we don't split solids apart. So we're just going to write CaSO4, leave that together, and then potassium and then iodine. So we have two potassium ions and then two iodide ions. And this is the complete or total ionic equation. Now we can cross out these spectator ions. They're on both sides. So as I look at the reactants and the products, in the reactants, I have two potassium ions and in the products. So that can be crossed out. Two iodine ions, again, in the products. Cross that out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for potassium sulfate plus calcium iodide. I'll clean it up, write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. And this is the balanced net ionic equation for K2SO4 plus CaI2. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have two minus two plus. That gives us a net charge of zero here. This is neutral net charge of zero and the atoms they balance as well. Sometimes you'll see the positive ion put first. It really doesn't matter. It's the same thing. Maybe this looks a little nicer. Either way, this is the balanced net ionic equation for potassium sulfate plus calcium iodide. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.